Hi, it's James here. Super pumped to bring you this video. This is one of the most exciting updates that we've ever done at Workshop Software. We've been working on this for a long time. I think this will change the way that you run your workshop, that you'll deal with your clients, and the evolution of this, I think, is gonna be really, really, really exciting. Super pumped to be here. Um, so let's jump in there and check it out straight away. So you'll notice now, under settings, there is this public bookings. Now, what we've done is we've created a functionality for you to send your customers a link to a website and that website allows them to book in their vehicle directly into your booking diary. This is super exciting and I'm going to just run you through the process of how this works because it's it's really, really cool and it's quite flexible so you can set it up any way you want. Uh, there's a lot of functionality for you to set and it's going to really transform the way that you run your workshop. So this booking uh, management system comes automatically with your subscription with Workshop Software if you are on the gold level of subscription. So if you're not on gold, really recommend that you upgrade. All you need to do is go to the dashboard. There'll be a button here to say upgrade to gold and you can simply upgrade your subscription to gold. It's only an extra few dollars a month and you get public bookings plus a whole heap of other stuff. If you're already on gold, this will be released very soon and you'll get this functionality for all of your customers, which is just super cool. So what happens is you've got this... Uh, URL or a web address that you can go and give to clients. You could create this as a button on your website if you want to, anything like that. So if I just go and uh, copy that and go and paste it in here, what you'll see is that you see this uh, page that comes up and you can then choose your appointment. So you've got these days that you can go through, right? And you've got days available and some maybe not available. And what the customer can do is that they can do whatever appointment type that you want to set up. So let's go back to the settings for starters. So in here, I've got two appointment types set up. If I just want to go create a new one, I'll just go plus and you can put in whatever description you want to put in there. So if you want to put in, you know, fix the brakes, change your tires, do you might be a machinery specialist or some sort of, you know, marine specialist, something like that. You can put in any type of repair that you want. You can have as many as you like or as few as you like. Probably recommend not having too many, but maybe covering maybe some of the main uh, types of uh, services or repairs that you do. So in this instance, we've got it set up really basic. So we just got repair or service. And in here, what you can do is you can say uh, that this is a, a next service or uh, a warrant of fitness in you, if you're in New Zealand uh, or a license plate or registration renewal item. So what this does is it will automatically pre, if I've set this as a service, so if I'm sending a service reminder, what the reminders will do is it will send a link to the customer so that they can go and automatically book in their vehicle. I'm going to show you that in a second. That part of it is just so cool because all the customer needs to do is press a couple of clicks. They can book in their car in just literally a few seconds. So I'm going to show you that in a moment. So what you can also do is you can either set to for the bookings to coincide with your actual booking diary and you can set what percentage full you want. So you might want to say, okay, I want to overbook, so I might want to make it 110% or 120 or you might want to say, if I'm 75% booked for my uh, my booking diary, I do not want to show that day as being available. So you'll notice if we go back here that some of these days are unavailable and some of some of them are available. So it's, it's literally on or off. So it's unavailable or, or available. So that depends on these settings here. So you can set that at a particular percentage. So for example, if I set that to 100%, meaning if I've got 25 hours available in a day, if I go up to the 25 hours, whether it's Internal bookings or external bookings doesn't matter, but if I just book up to that number of hours, it will automatically uh, say that that day is full, or I can just manually set the scheduled hours. So if I want to say, okay, I'm going to make it X number of hours on a particular day, I can also do that as well. So I can do that optionally is up to you. When you're sending reminders, do you want to send the link? I would highly recommend that you turn that on. Uh, you can absolutely do that. Uh, the logo that you want to put in there, so you'll notice here you've got the workshop software logo up the top left-hand corner. You can simply just go choose an image, put it in there, and away you go. Uh, you've also got the nav bar, so this bar across the top and also this next bar. You can change the colors of those. So if you want to make them maybe red or something like that, you can set it to that color. And I'm going to do the box color maybe a, 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 a greeny sort of color. It's probably not going to look real great, but just to show you what that looks like. So if I just refresh this page, you've got those two. <laughs> Two colors have changed, so that's, that's again, pretty straightforward to do. If you want, you can actually enter in. If you're a bit technical, you can enter in the hex value. So you can manage the hex value. Actually, I'll just show you that if I copy this hex value here 
and I paste it in here, you've got the two bars are gonna be the exact same color. So if you wanted to do something like that, you might wanna match the color to a logo or part of your logo or something like that, you can do that too. So that's the setup of the booking diary. So really easy to do, but really functional. Okay, so let's jump in there and check out how this works and see it in action. So first of all, under vehicles, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull up a random vehicle in my vehicles uh, area and just show you how, one of the ways that we can send somebody a booking request. So on the star action here, you got this new booking request option. So uh, you can set this up in the template any way you want, but in here you've got click here to schedule your service. So you would send this to the customer, the customer would click here and that, that, and that will then take them to this link. So it will take the customer Customer to this particular place. So what you'll notice is because I've chosen the customer, I've already got Caitlin Scott, got her uh, phone number, I've got the vehicle, all that sort of stuff already pre-booked. And in here, you know, she wants to book in for a service, for example, I'm going to book that in uh, in a couple of weeks time. So maybe on February the 7th, right? And so this says to the customer, hey, request sent, you'll have received a text direct or email when your booking is confirmed. If we go back into workshop software, and so this is you now in your system. If you go back to the dashboard or into the booking diary, what you'll notice is there's currently one booking request pending approval. You get the same thing in the booking diary itself. And so you just need to click on it to um, open it up and you need to go through and you can see what the options are there. So you can see that this person's uh, booking is here. So what I can do is I can look at the booking and see the details of it. It tells me that this is an existing customer, an existing vehicle. Uh, what I could do is I could put a note in or anything like that. Uh, they're scheduled for the 2nd of the 7th. I'm going to make that that they're actually going to come in and we're going to book them in at say 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, if we want to assign it to a mechanic or so it goes on to the booking diary with a mechanic, you can put some notes on there, that sort of stuff. You could jump into the diary if you wanted to view the diary and you can update it. So if you want to update it, not approve it yet, you can do that or just go approve and then this now goes off and approves this to this particular customer and this will now go and see send a text message because Caitlin's preferred method of contact was set as text message or SMS message. So once we send that SMS message, you'll see that that booking request is no longer a request. It's now been actually put into the booking diary. So if we jump into the diary itself and we go to, for example, uh, into February the 7th, which was the day that she booked in, you'll notice here that there is now this booking, right? So you've got this uh, dot here and that's gonna be Caitlin's actual booking. So you can see that I've got a couple of services booked in for that day, and you can see that Caitlin Scott's got a booking and I can put her onto a particular mechanic, and the booking diary just works the normal way that it always works now, so uh, away you go. So that's as simple as it gets. And you can see that the customer's gone here, they've gone to the website, booked it in, you can put that link into your website. You know, if you go into the settings, into the public bookings, uh, this particular thing here could just be a link or a button on your website to say, click here to book it in. You could pop it up. It comes up with this sort of information so the customer can put their details in manually if you want to. And you know, you've got your appointment type or your, your vehicle repair type, uh, repair or service and or, or all those different types that you can create in here. So this is going to be just so much simpler for your customers to book in and deal directly with with you and get more business into your workshop. So that's the overview of the public booking diary. We're super pumped about this. This is going to be a real game changer to the way that you deal with your customers. You can see that you're going to get more business. It's going to be easier for your customers. Uh, a lot of customers want to book online these days and by sending those service reminders and those particular links makes it so, so simple and super quick for customers, which is just going to be a game changer to the way you send out your service reminders. This is a free included with your gold subscription of workshop software. If you're not already on gold, Simply click the button in the booking in the dashboard, uh, which says upgrade to gold, and it's only a few dollars extra a month, and you've then got the public booking diaries. This is going to be released real soon. Uh, a few days' time, you'll hear a lot more about this. We'll have more videos. We'll have more details on how exactly you can work this to make more money out of your workshop, how you can win more business, and you can make your customers happier. Thanks for watching.